Good morning, you all. So I actually had started filming a video. Um, I actually went through a lot of the different things and then I'm filming with my phone and the phone rang and it cut off the recording. So I guess I'll just start all over, except I'm just not gonna take this off and put it back on again. But I did start, I'm gonna do a, a full look today. I have some high-end, some regular price drugstore uh, blends that I wanted to try out today. I had a little more time today, so I got excited rather than just doing my quick, easy breezy, basically foundation and mascara and lipstick. So I started off with, I had already um, clean, cleaned and put my moisturizer, moisturizers on, and then I started off with this Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch Primer. That's what I started off with. I actually got this in one of my beauty boxes, and I'm telling you, the beauty boxes, I never understood enough about skincare, but when I started getting them and realizing that sometimes the product just pays for the entire beauty box itself and you get five to six full-size products. So this is really exciting. I really like this. You just need a little tiny amount. It actually comes with a little ac applicator um, to, to dig in. And I just put a little bit on there and I, I love the way that it sat on my skin. And then from there, I went into... I went to the mall yesterday and I was of course walking by the beauty counters at the Macy's and the lady told me, hey, do you wanna try out a sample of the new Clinique foundation? And I had been really interested in it, but I wasn't gonna spend the money on it because I have so many other things that, that'll that keep me busy for a long time. But I, I said, sure, I'll, I'll try some. And so she gave me a sample of the cream chamoy that's my color, I believe. So I actually mix that with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And that is in the 4.5 medium shade. I mixed those two and then I applied it with this applicator that I just recently got from Target. This, this applicator is, I think it's called Eco Brand and it was only four bucks. It was in the clearance aisle. So I feel like that was a steal. So I was finishing putting that in and then I had to restart <laughs> filming again. So there we are. All right. I really like that. It's very, still looks nice. Look like, it still looks like my skin, but gives me some coverage. And then from there, I am going to go into the e.l.f. concealer. And I believe this was probably like four or five bucks at the drugstore because I've heard so many good things about it. So I was like, okay, I have to try it. And I usually don't use concealer. I, I don't feel, I feel like my foundation typically will cover whatever I need covered, but I did want to try. And I was trying to do it like some of the videos that I watched where they just put a little bit in the corner and then they put a little bit there and a little bit down the nose, I believe, in here. Probably got that all wrong, but hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? And then I'm just gonna take this, and I saw the way this one girl did it once where she blended outward and then inward. This is, to me, this is not having a good time blending. It's actually giving my eyes it's kind of making like little dry spots under my eyes which is odd I'm not sure if it's the consistency of that which does not mix well with the foundation that I applied but I mean it's not terrible I do see brightness which is nice and I did use a lot of moisturizer under my eye, but it blended in really well, and that was a little bit ago, so I am not sure. I guess I don't want to completely cancel this one, because I do like that it does give me some brightness. But I don't know if you can tell. It's not too terrible. Okay, thank God for the beauty sponge. That actually, it's so interesting how it can just really blend everything in together. All right, and then from there, I'm going to go into my bronzer. 
This is a, also something I got in my beauty box. It's a Yensa Silk Bronzing Base, and this is the Sunlit Glow. And it looks like this. It's a cream foundation. It also came with one of their brushes. I really like it. It's, it's really pretty. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to put some of that there. Give it a little bit of lightness, brightness. I don't know what's, I know it's the winter time, but I don't know what the deal is. You know what? I'm actually going to blend it in with this. But I've been drinking so much water and I still have a really hard time with all this dryness in my skin. And I use, at night, I use a lot of facial stuff. And it's all supposed to work together to give you less dry skin, but maybe it's just the nature of my skin because sometimes I feel like my skin can be super oily and then sometimes it is super dry so that was really pretty so we have that and then I'm going to go in and set that with this Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder I really like that it's really pretty it's the airbrush airbrush flawless finish in medium so I'm going to go ahead and set my face with that. And this is a pure all over face brush. Just a little bit. To keep that locked in throughout the day. All right, and then I'm so excited to try this. This is my Tati Beauty, because I, I know I talked about Tati in my first video, how much I love her and how much she inspired me. And this is her palette. And it's the Tati number one volume palette. And I think it's just absolutely beautiful, but I'm gonna just do a very simple look because I don't wanna take up too much of your time today. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. I forget the name of it, but it's a deluxe crease brush. I'm sure a lot of you recognize it. And I'm going to go into the Aura, Aurora, Aura, and I'm going to apply this all over my lid. And into the crease. I just want a very natural, natural look today. I think that's really pretty. Wow. And it would have to be pretty because she spent so much time and energy into it because she's such a critic of makeup that I love that. She's not willing to settle for, for anything but the best. And that actually can apply to us in our lives. Like so many times I've settled in my life for things that are not that weren't the best for me and I realized that should never ever settle. Next I'm going to go in with this, I kind of want to do a little brown in the actual crease so I'm going to go to the Soothe, the second one, Soothe the Sequin. I do see that there's little things on the side that actually say, because they're kind of in the same family but they have different like metallic glitter matte. I'm going to apply this, it has really great pigment you barely touch it and it just picks up really, really, really quickly. Oh, I totally forgot. I actually, brought, I'm not going to do eye primer today, I guess. I had brought out an eye primer that I love. It's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow um, Primer Potion. And I've been using that for years and I really, really like it. But I totally forgot to put that on. That's okay. And I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I like it, it's really simple. Really, really simple. And it just seems to blend really easily actually, which I like. And then 
then I'm going to go in, because I'm one of those people that likes to put uh, something on the lower lid. I'm actually going to get crazy, and I'm going to do the Poet Matte. And I'm just going to apply that underneath. I have hazel eyes, but sometimes they they go green with reds or mauves, and I really like that. But they they can do that. They can adjust. Sometimes when I wear purple, my eyes look more brown, but then when I wear reds, my eyes look more green. It's kind of hard to see in this video, but. All right, and then I actually want to press some of this glitter onto the lid because I think it's so pretty. So I think I'm going to go with Aura and I'm going to go into the glitter section here. This one right here. Oh, that's beautiful. Just going to press that onto the lid just to give me a little pop. Now, I think that they actually probably would blend better a little wet, like with a wet brush. Because it just seems a little loose and or just very, very loose where it's not blending in the greatest. But maybe that's also supposed to be the way it is. I'm not sure. Maybe you're not supposed to use it on your lids. That could be the problem too. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to spray this brush with my setting spray. Let's see if that works. Let's see if I can pick up a little bit more. I'm going to do the next shade over. That seems to be a little bit better with the pickup. But I'm imagining maybe this is not supposed to be an all over glitter all over your eyelids, but you know what? Hey, we're already here, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I feel like this is taking me a lot longer than I normally do to, to do my eyes. Maybe I'm doing it all wrong. Maybe I'm supposed to be using the metallic shades instead. So let's see if that works. I'm gonna dip into one of those. The metallics blend a lot better, or they press, they, excuse me, they press better onto the eyelid. So maybe that's the purpose, is to use the metallic. Because it has, it has shimmer in it and it has a little bit of glitter, but it doesn't, it's not loose as, as, as loose as the the glitter is maybe the glitter you just use on your body I, I do see a lot of people do that I think it's pretty I actually have to wear other clothes rather than a t-shirt because you guys always see me in a t-shirt and that's it but um I just like t-shirts I they're just very comfortable for me so that's pretty I really do like the palette overall I probably just have to mess around with it to figure it out a little bit more and then next I'm actually going to do my lip and I got this, we're going to try lip liner today, you guys. It should be interesting. It's the Real Her, and then it's the I Am Confident. So, put that on there. I always feel like it probably looks weird doing this to, to people like when you make those weird faces. This is pretty. It's a little darker than I normally would use, but you know what? It's it's a fun day to experiment and I like it. It goes on really nice. 
And then from there, I'm actually going to use, I picked this up yesterday at Target, it's Revlon. And it's the 460 Blushing Mauve. My all-time favorite lipstick is from Lancome. It's the new pink, and I've been using it for years. I love the shade. It's just, you can wear it at work, you can wear it out. It, it just, it's such a beautiful shade. But I found this, and I think that it's actually very similar because I applied it last night because I was so excited about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that shade is pretty much the Lancome shade, but the Lancome obviously is like $20 more than this because this was four bucks. It's crazy too, because my lips are so dry and I just did a lip exfoliator, but it feels like it didn't even help at all. <laughs> This is pretty. It obviously looks a lot darker with that lip liner because when you put it on initially, it is, it's actually has pink tones and this is a little more, is darker. So, but I do like it. And then because I'm one of those people that likes tons of lip products, I'm going to put this diamond plumper on. This is from Physicians Formula. And I don't know what it is, but the packaging is just so neat. It, it immediately, when I walk by the aisle, it immediately stood out to me. Like I was just like so excited. And I was like, I have to get this. I think this was about six bucks. Not too bad. And just put that on for a little extra shine. And lips are done. And then I'm going to go back into my eyes and I'm going to use this Wander Beauty Mile High Club. This is a new bottle. I actually had one from one of my beauty boxes and I absolutely loved it. And of course I used all of it. So I had to get a new one and this is awesome. Like this is good for volume and lengthening mascara. I, I swear by it. It's one of my favorites that I would, if I had to choose, it would be the, the Thrive Cosmetics. I, uh, mascara and then the Wander Beauty mascara. That's just, they're just incredible. I guess I should have used eyeliner today, but again, I totally forgot. And that's okay. A lot of times I don't use eyeliner, like I'll tight line my eyes, but I won't like apply eyeliner over the lid. Sometimes I feel like with the shape of my eye that it makes my eye looks smaller the way that I apply it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I feel like, and I also feel like I I don't know how to do a wing. I've been trying for years how to do a wing, but it just never turns out the way that I want it to be. So I just stick to this. <laughs> and it's kind of funny because that glitter is, is now getting inside my mascara. <laughs> oh, well. You only live once, right? You got to make it a little interesting. So I'm probably just going to apply one coat today because I'm kind of liking how much the one coat did. Sometimes I apply two and that just gives it an extra boost. But like I said, this is a new bottle. So I know with mascaras, the longer you wait or if you wait a couple days by your second or third use, they actually are really good. But this is pretty. It just gives me a little bit more life. All right, and then we're almost done. We're gonna go into, and I, I know this, it seems like a really, really long video, but it actually only takes me about, if I'm going for the full look with everything, eyeshadow, um, not just like a really quick eyeshadow, but more like several different eyeshadows. It, it only usually takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to do everything. But today, obviously, because I'm talking, it takes forever. And I'm also drinking my coffee. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I actually forgot my, <laughs> I actually forgot my brushes for <laughs> my palette, <laughs> for my blush and my bronzer and my um, 
my highlighters. So we're just going to use the ones that I have in front of me, not to waste any more time. So I'm going to go into, this is the True Luscious Lucky Glow. And I got this, of course, in one of my beauty boxes. I'm going to move this eye, this light a little closer. So I'm going to go into the Serendipity. I'm just going to warm up the skin a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And I was actually watching a YouTube influencer last night. I, I can't remember the name, but they actually said to, when you put your bronzer on to actually start here and then work up because you want more down here and less up here, I guess, when on the first pickup. So that's kind of cool. And then I'm going to go and this actually works really well with that. By the way, this brush, even though it's supposed to be an all-over powder brush. And then I'm going to go into Royal Fret, Royal Flush for the blush. And just press that. It has really nice, it picks up very quickly. I only need that much. I don't want to look like a clown. That's pretty. And then last but not least, I am going to use this brush, even though it's a deluxe. This is the uh, crease brush. I'm actually going to try it because it is smaller, but I'm going to go into Heaven Scent for the highlighter. And I'm just going to push that, put that here. And maybe I'll just blend it out with my beauty blender. I think that's a good idea. But use it on this side, on the clean side. Yeah, and I like it because it gives you a little bit of glow there. I love highlighter. I, I think highlighter is just one of the most amazing things. It really brightens the skin. It just gives you that or people will walk up to you and be like, what did you do different today? And I, I love that. So the last thing I, I said, I know I said the last thing was the last, but this is actually the last. This is the Ciati London Everyday Vacay. This is the setting spray. And I really like this one. I think it's like a coconut or something. So I'm going to spray this. And I like it because it gives you so much coverage like it doesn't feel like it just putting out nothing it, it actually puts out something so i'm gonna let you see this look let me know what you think i think it's really pretty it's kind of glowy but it was fun to do and i hope that you all have a great day and i will see you soon